You may have seen that in the settings of your group blog there is also a comment setting that you can set up Facebook comments so that they show up on your site but you may not know how to set this up. So I'll show you in this video how to do it and once you do it it will show up like this so you'll have a nice little uh, comment section over here on your posts where users can come in and then comment once they do it will show up just below like this and then you as an admin you'll be able to go in there and then manage these comments by this drop down menu over here you'll be able to delete comments edit comments collapse uh, comments and things like that so this will show up on the post where you actually set it up to show so you can manage yourself on which post to show the comments and which post not to show the comments so let's just go on and set this up ourselves in the in the Facebook settings so the thing you will need to do is head over to Facebook for developers okay so if you head over to developers.facebook.com you'll be able to create an account where you can set up this uh, account so you get the actual Facebook app ID it's pretty simple to do so what you do is head over to Facebook for developers in case you have a Facebook account and you're logged in already you'll just need to log in for the Facebook for developers that will look like this if you don't have a Facebook account yet you can create it instead of this button you will have a register or login button once you click my apps you'll be able to see that there is a screen which shows an, an option to create an app once you create an app choose manage business integrations once you selected that click the continue button here you'll need to type in some um, some information about your app that you're creating in our case it will be groove blog comments fill out the contact email that you would like add a purpose over here so yourself or your business or you're managing it for clients and then here if you want you can also set up a business manager account by clicking over here to your business manager account I'll just click the create create app button after a quick security check click submit button and this will load in and send us to the next screen where we actually can see immediately our app ID displayed over here on the top of the screen so what we need to do is click the copy bring it over here to our settings on our Grooveblog account and paste these uh, numbers in so this will be the Facebook app ID the width in pixels is where you decide how wide you want this section to be so this is the comment uh, comment box over here and you can decide how wide you want to be my settings over here in this section is 600 pixels so let's just set up something like 750 just to see a change and then here you can select how many uh, comments you want to show show up one below the other so you can manage in my personal experience 10 to 25 comments is something that people like to see on the on the on the post so once this is set up you click the save button and you can go back to the home screen to click the publish okay so now we have set up our Facebook comments the next step is very important you would need to go into your post and then you can choose the post where you want to actually enable the comment section to show up in our case I'm just going to sh uh, set it up over here 10 best free blogging sites you click this cogwheel icon and you scroll down in the settings to click on the allow comments button okay so you need to take this and make sure you click the publish button once this is done it will take a couple of minutes to go live so let's just quickly go back to our home screen make sure we save our changes and then give it a couple of moments and then we'll see if it actually shows up live after a minute or two has passed now we can go back into our home page and we can see from here or if you visit your published page you can click on the actual post where we set it up so 10 free blogging sites and after a couple of seconds this comment section will load just below the post so in case you have a long post then it will show up all the way at the bottom of it so as you can see now here is where it shows up and then here you can put in the comments and allow your visitors on the blog to comment for this post 